after the age of 50, the number of working designers in the industry goes down to like 5%. I mean, it's crazy. And so I try to prepare people to not do what I did, which is not focus entirely on your job, your title, building brands for other people and, and ignore the fact that eventually in, in one day you will be on your own and you will be 55. You will be, and you'll have, you know, and we're working till 65, 70, you know, even longer at these times. So, I mean, you got to think, hey, if I'm getting sunsetted out of my graphic design career at 50, I've got 20 more years of working life in me, you know, for to expect. How am I going to manage that? And you do not want to fall into that like I did, which is with a three page black and white website and a PDF portfolio and no presence or network that is going to support you in a new endeavor. And so I try to prepare people for that idea of building your personal brand as you are employed and anticipating as a creative professional that you will be sunsetted out of your career earlier than many. Mm, Yeah. Do you think... I often wonder if creatives more so than other people wait to be given something, you know, like, hmm. like I, I started, um, I went to film school and when I graduated, I went to television and I kind of felt like if I did a good enough job, people would recognize it and like, give me the opportunity. And if I worked hard enough, then I would be given the raise. And it's almost like, you know, you, you pitch the client and you have to be given, you know, in our in our industry, you pitch the client and you have to be given the opportunity to win the business. And it, and, and maybe because I'm in this industry, it feels more personal than others, maybe in manufacturing or other places, it's the same thing. But I don't know, I feel like creatives work on their craft and stuff and then kind of hope that they're going to be given stuff as opposed to in other industries where you, you just maybe go out and make it happen for yourself. Do you, do you think that might be the case? That's a really interesting question. And I've, I've managed creative tr- teams my entire career. I mean, I've managed teams as small as three, as large as 65 across multiple divisions. I find creative professionals, for the most part, there are some people who just like designing. They just like working on their craft, creating beautiful things, and you know, going out and having great vacations and listening to music and, you know, living their life. There are other creatives who are slightly more ambitious than that, who are looking to advance. They want to learn more about marketing, about business, about managing people. They want to have a little more agency in terms of their career. They may um, want to, you know, advance into levels of management. And um, because in order to improve your salary, you have to, I mean, there is, that's another thing I I try to counsel graphic designers on is that there's also a, a, there's a mid career. There's a serious glass ceiling in the creative industries. You can start off as a junior, become a graphic designer, then you become a senior, then become a, a, a associate creative director. But where you start managing people is this ceiling. And there are people who don't want to manage people. They don't want to, um, the responsibility of project management. They just want to design. And God bless those people, except they have to realize that you're going to reach a title level and a salary level that's going to cap out. You're going to meet a specific salary level, depending on the agency company you're in, and it's going to stop. And you're not going to be promoted beyond that because there are what they call salary bands, you know, where you have to fit into a particular salary range with a particular title. And in order to, you know, make the bigger bucks, get the stock options, you know, things like that, you have to start managing people. You have to start learning about business, managing budgets, um, dealing with HR and hiring and things like that. And, And that takes you away from designing. And the higher up you move, the farther away you get from designing. And so lots of graphic designers have no idea that there's this stopping point that they have to, it's an inflection point where they have to make a decision. Am I willing to give up doing designing so much in order to make more money and get a bigger title? Or 
am I going to be happy where I am, what I'm making? You have got to hear the full conversation I had with Philip Van Dusen. We talk about trend spotting. We talk about what it's like to be a creative today. And we talk about building your own personal brands. Click on the link right over there to hear the full talk.